Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bryce with BIC Media, and today I'm back with another video. And today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the network features on the Panasonic 4K Blu-ray players. Now I know for sure this will apply to the UB9000, UB820, and the UB420. And I've had a couple questions as far regarding the network features, specifically when I reviewed the UB820. I didn't really get to go into it because I didn't have it connected to the internet at the time. I really wanted to dive into that and we're going to do that today because honestly they are just so bad and outdated that it's just honestly embarrassing I think for these players to even have this interface there's still network updates and everything or I should just say there's updates for the players going out still so I'm not really sure why they haven't updated this so uh, yeah let's take a peek at this so you click on the network services here as I just did and it pulls it up and this is what the screen looks like. So we have Netflix, great. We have YouTube, we have Prime Video, and that's it when it comes to the big streaming services. So we don't have Hulu, we don't have Disney Plus, Paramount Plus, HBO Max, or I should just say Max now. <laughs> it does not have any of those. And then you can scroll through the other pages and it shows there's more, there's a web browser and I tried to use a web browser. I was like, okay, this thing looks so outdated. It looks like it's old dial-up internet. And it shows you can get to this page. And I just tried to type in Google here. Let's try it again. And earlier when I tried to just type in Google just to see if it would pull anything up, it said something about there was an error and it has crashed and it just completely bagged me out of the app. Oh, it actually worked this time. <laughs> I knew it was on camera, but I mean, yeah. Just look at that cursor. It's like, what in the world is this? You're paying, you know, 200 plus dollars for any of these Blu-ray players that UB420 being the cheapest. Imagine paying a thousand dollars for the UB9000 and it just has these, all these great, you know, visuals and sounds for your disc. And then you just get into this network stuff and it's just, absolutely abysmal <laughs> like they really should be able to update this especially with all the updates they're constantly putting out for this just for the player itself they should really be able to add some other things uh, there's a couple other things there's like a settings thing that you can go through here and you can kind of customize the home screen as regarding all the different apps that have uh, you can lock some you can change the display size you can have navigation beeps uh, there's this Ber Berlander Philharmoniker. It's an uh, app that streams um, all kinds of different like concerts and music. And then there's the CC here. And if you click on this, it just shows if video application follows Panasonic IPTV caption specification, the application CC appearance will be figured by this application. So you can kind of go through there and change how the closed captioning is going to look like. Uh, then you just press, press OK or whatever after you've saved it. I mean, that's a little other feature you can do. And then last but not least, there's a market tab. And if you go into the market and you're like, okay, you know, they got to at least have some kind of other apps. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is all they have as far as when it comes to video and movies. So, of course, you already have Prime Video, which is a download. It has Bollywood uh, app, I guess, that you can, you know, watch a lot of the different Indian stuff out there. Uh, there's a fireplace background, an ocean. There's Russia TV. I was like, come on now. <laughs> and there's Kylan TV. Uh, Netflix is already downloaded. There's VOA, TV films, video, radio. Never heard of that. Wow TV. It looks like it's something with Asia. It looks like in the caption. And there's YouTube. Uh, yeah, pretty weak light up there. Music really shows its age because it has Pandora it has Rhapsody which I don't remember seeing Rhapsody since about like 2010 or maybe even earlier than that it really shows how outdated it is Shoutcast, TuneIn games, there's a lot of different games on there, they're just going to be basic like Blackjack, Chess Challenge any of those kind of things like that, some of these you'd find on an old computer there's a kids section that nah, just has a couple of little games for kids Social networking, when I got to this tab, I was like, this is it. And I was like, what is this social media? Because I'd never even heard of this. 
and it has something to do with number one matrimony site for Indians worldwide. So I was like, okay, that's the only social media you have, not even Facebook, Instagram, nothing. It's like, come on now. You got to get with the times with this. Uh, there's also a health and fitness, NetFit TV. Never heard of that either. And then last but not least, there's a lifestyle and more. Idiva, the web browser, and then a developer's looks like you can maybe develop apps or something like that. Set so, yeah, for setting up development environment for network service apps. Yeah, I don't think anyone is using this, obviously, because uh, all of these things are very outdated. It shows that it was just released in 2011, that app Panasonic was. So that's saying something about all their network features. And yeah, that's everything it has to offer, guys. So I've been meaning to make a video about this, just, you know, saying how terrible it is because you're paying, you know, 200 plus dollars for this Blu-ray player. And I know you're going to be paying for the Blu-ray disc drive itself. You know, you want to be able to actually play disc. You're not going to care about the different social medias, anything like that, more than likely. But I mean, it would be nice. I mean, you're paying all this money for it and you're probably more likely going to have a smart TV, obviously, too, these days. So you're probably not going to care that it doesn't have every single social media or I should say every single streaming platform out there. But it would be nice because, you know, this is already going to, you know, maybe hooked up to your AVR. So you're going to already have it hooked up to your surround sound. That's how it is currently for mine. And so I don't if I'm playing any of the other apps through my TV, I don't have it where it's hooked up to my surround sound just because I don't really feel like, you know, running another cable for that. And it doesn't always sound as good anyways. So this just would have been one less cable if they would have had every single one, but unfortunately they do not. But yeah, terrible network features. They could have did a lot better. There's constantly updates coming out for this. So why not update the network features? It really should be that easy. Maybe they just don't want to pay the licensing fees to get those on there, but it's really showing how outdated it is. It looks like it came from early 2000s, 2010 at the latest. So they really should step up their game in that aspect. But all right, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think of the network features on the Panasonic 4K players. Let me know if it is a deal breaker for you. All right, guys, so that being said, make sure you like this video to get this video out to more people and help out that YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button if you have not and click that notification bell to be notified my future videos. That being said, guys, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Take care.